I'm always aware of a certain vulnerability and a gap that one or more of my characters has and uh, I'm just sort of giving them voice and giving them choices and watching how choices are made. That's how I'm participating in their evolution from a vulnerable, powerless individual to somebody who can affect changes in his whole world. I didn't plan to write for, for kids and it's one of the pleasures of writing for this, this age group, writing at all, is that it's so alive. It's so real. You cannot get through it without, without having a lot of the old stuff churn up again. You never, you never solve the issues of adolescence. That's a myth. I tell my students all the time, hurt your readers. Go ahead. Really shake them up because if, if pain isn't painful in reading, then you haven't approximated to the best of your ability that experience. Violence has to be violent. It needs to hurt or else I'm a fraud. I think there's almost an, an ethical approach implied in the endeavor. Possibly only novels are the places left that have any interest and time to let you get into that and make it be as ugly and nasty and horrific as possible. Uh, so in that way, you know, I feel privileged every time I get a chance to take a whack at it. Please, turn it loose. Scare me, shock, shock me, appall me. Be funny and be dramatic or be something electric. We can fix it up later, we can neaten it up later. But that essence uh, that makes something worth reading, you're gonna catch that early. And that is the message from my younger days that I carry exactly as I got it to, to my guys now.